Call the meeting to order. 634. Um, agenda, additions to the agenda. Who do we have? Oh, we had some. Yep. The discuss the daughter sale. Okay. Oh, that's the recording button. I don't think it's recording. Are you recording? <laughs> Did you know where the record button is? You want to get on online? It says it on the bottom. So you're recording. It's on the bottom. It's on the bottom. Next to share screen, it says record. Oh, it says record? Yeah, right next to the green sh share screen. Oh, right. I don't have that. Normally, it's at the top. You don't have it right, right out of the bottom here. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't say that one. Maybe because it's okay. Now I got it. Recording in progress. Thank you. Thank you, Rosie. Are we good? So we have the addition, it's called the Goddard sale. Something happened in the neighboring town, I guess. So yeah, Andrew Christensen is here um, to discuss the Goddard sale. Yeah, I'm not sure that's relevant to our town, but. Well, yeah, so we'll discuss it. Here. We'll figure it out. We should at least we should give our citizen. Yeah, yeah. No, I know that, but I just want to make sure yeah. we're not going to another town's business. But sure. we'll discuss the ramifications of that when we get to it. Uh, review of minutes. May I have another thing. We I allocate some funds to buy a battery for the clock. Okay, I, I didn't realize that was um had to be run by the slate board. Well, I, I I don't know. I, I wonder. What, um, <laughs> I thought usually we took it out of the funds that are allocated for the maintenance of the building. Fact, yeah. I think so. All right. All right. Then I would throw my okay thank conditions you. of the agenda. <laughs> we have another. Can you stop too? talking? Okay. What's that? The listers have a request uh for a laptop yeah. and a file cabinet, a four drawer file cabinet. Oh my gosh, we <laughs> dealt with that many times. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll put it down. All right. Um, can we review the minutes? May six. Oh, this is what didn't happen last time because yeah, of the, I, I saw, the correction. Well, I saw I went through the meeting from the May twentieth minutes yeah, where Carl said that there was a mistake with this May sixth minutes because there was not a motion listed for um the item of the ash trees. Right. I went back to the Zoom recording for May 6th, and it was Carl himself who said that this item does not need a motion and moved on. Right, because we'd already allocated the already funds. Allocated yep. And we'd already signed, actually, we signed the contract because we had the same reasoning that we didn't need to. Right. So, so can we just approve those minutes on May 6th? Motion to approve the minutes from May 6th. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All right. Okay. Motion to approve the minutes for May twentieth. Second. Uh, any further discussion? I, I read them. Uh, okay. What are you, are you finding something? I don't think I have anything here. I'm just right. trying to keep up with the motions and the seconds. Okay. All right. And take your time. Sure. Take your time. We got all night. <laughs> I think yeah, no kidding. Vote. <laughs> I, I'm being facetious, yeah. Mister. So, Mister. Facetious. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to be award. Okay. So, are we going to vote on this? This view? Well, we can, but I said, yeah, is there any further vote. discussion? No. <laughs> there isn't any further discussion. All right. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. Okay. Uh, public comment. Don't hear any. Okay, uh, a little bit late. Uh, monthly financial report for March and April on town treasurer report. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. Lots of people. Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. I would I would recommend that since we have a citizen here, 
And we yeah. have an agenda item. Instead of putting it at the end, maybe we should talk about Goddard right now since we have a citizen that came. I don't know where you oh. put it on the agenda, but why, why wait? Uh, I just want to make sure we're on time if someone else is coming in. Yeah, I looked. I didn't see. Is anybody else coming in? Uh, Ash Tree Contract, Washington Sheriff, Dog Warrants, 911. Really? A vanilla meeting, I'd have to say. I know. Sure, we can listen to the Goddard sale. As long as we're not violating anything by talking about something that's in another town, right? Is Goddard in another it's town? Well, well, it's not part of it's in East yeah. The sign is in... A large part of the building. The buildings are. No, some of them are... 90% of the buildings are in Plainfield. That's what I thought. About 10% are in... Yeah, I thought they're mostly... In... Not, they are. There are some in East Okay. What's that? Sure. Yes, Rosie? There's 232 acres in East Montpelier. Oh, the land. 232. Just land, yeah. And are all the buildings in Plainfield? No. I believe so. I think they are. I think they're all in. Huh. Because Actually, we have you know, never, I've yeah. never seen them come up on the, the abatement of taxes or because. Well, they're they exempt. Have, they're exempt, yeah, but that exemption, I've never seen it. What about the, the, some of those apartments back in there? The Real apartments. North? Are owned by someone else. Those okay. are owned, yeah, Northwood, right. but that's not Goddard. Goddard. That's not Goddard anymore. No. no. So you don't believe there's any buildings? I don't think they are. The only the only one that I can think that might be is the library and the computer um, that's right there on the same Northwood Drive. Um, it's actually not Northwood Drive, but as you're going in um, to make the turn to go into Northwood Drive, there is a facility on the left-hand side, but um, I'm not 100% well, certain. Let's just that. see. I, I just, I, we'll see right yeah, yeah, we'll see. I just, so there's, there's a document here. I saw it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You wanted to say something about Goddard? Sure. I'm good. Um, my understanding is there's part of Goddard's assets, which also would include land in uh, Plainfield, uh, East Montpelier, and Marshfield. Uh, one of the things which is, uh, clear to me from reading the press releases and the website from Goddard is that they don't give a darn about uh, the local community. Uh, they have provisions for faculty. They have, talk about how they're going to continue uh, 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 an education for the students through a, a collaboration with Prescott. But nowhere uh, was there any mention of, you know, uh, WGDR or um, the other community organizations that utilize Goddard's facilities. Uh, um, of course, one of the important uh, members of the GDR team is on your select board. <laughs> yeah. um, so uh, I saw the allegations of violations of bylaws and uh, that has been put out by the uh, group uh, Save Goddard Facebook group which was reported in a recent article uh, in, I think, uh, Vermont Digger. But um, uh, probably the most, I think one of the things that was interesting to me is if you look at their bylaws, uh, those groups actually missed uh, the last uh, article in their bylaws, which is about dissolution, which says that if you have a... Um, if you call yourselves a charitable organization as Goddard did in their bylaws, that the property, the assets can't be sold um, except to another nonprofit or to a state or, or local gov uh, entity, of a government entity. So um, my feeling is, is that this has had a, a very uh, strong will have a strong impact on this town. For the, the, many of our the people in this town, our neighbors, uh, say, I mentioned a few, Court, uh, 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 Richardson, Jenny Callan, and many others who are Goddard graduates. Closer in my heart is my mother who graduated from there, my grandmother who did. And, <clears throat> and I think that um, it would behoove us to try to save uh, those resources for a community purpose, especially given the situation with the lack of affordable housing 
And uh, we have that resource of the Hay Barn Theater, which has been used for decades by local groups. Um, Plainfield uh, had uh, used it at one time for a school, for their elementary school. Uh, Twin Valley Senior Center, which <clears throat> incorporates uh, East Montpelier and Plainfield, used it for many years uh, to have their program there till they could get their own building. Uh, these are resources that have been in the community, used by the community for uh, the, the entire uh, length for the last 86 years. And I think that given the illegalities in their violating their own bylaws as well as federal law, um, this is something that I think that the Attorney General should look at, and I would urge you to ask them to do so. Um, so I think that's basically uh, my point. Which federal law? You, the, you... the federal law is for the dissolution of, of charitable organizations. It's in uh, for 501c3 corp, uh, nonprofits. And I know that I've been hit up for donations to Goddard at <laughs> times. So that's part of the deal is if you're going to give money to a nonprofit, uh, there's strict this restrictions on that. You can't just sell it to any developer or business at the end of the ride. So, I mean, just to, just to, if I may, sure. just to kind of narrow that. So what you're asking the select board is to um, inquire or have the attorney general of Vermont um, look into the situation. That's, that right, basically, yeah. that's basically what you're asking. Yeah. I, okay. I guess I'd also point out another part of the law according to IRS is that a, non, uh, a nonprofit organization, a charitable organization, as Goddard has defined itself in Article uh, 12 of their uh, bylaws, <clears throat> is that they need to supply all the information in regards to that dissolution to the that state's attorney general. Right. I mean, we're right. We're just we're. I think we need to narrow down exactly what the request is. Obviously, we're not going to. This is not the select board of the town of East Montpelier's position or responsibility to look into IRS taxes or or, or any of that kind of stuff. Oh, right. yeah. Obviously, but your your single request is that. We, we, ask the attorney we ask the attorney general to please look into the potential sale. The sale I, I, I'm, I'm asking what the. No, I, I see. We just ask. We, we, we don't need the background because we, there's nothing we can do about it. I, but I'm not comfortable with the request. I, I know what his request is, but I saw just not up to me. So I don't know what anyone else thinks. I'm not. I'm not very comfortable with it either. But I, I, I would, think I that somebody that bill. More. What's that? I would have to see more facts before. I don't know. It's a, it sounds like a legality. Yeah, it is a legal issue, and I would hate to oh, see yeah. the town drawn into a legal. Well, yeah. What would be the cons? The what? What would be the, like the, and the pros and cons? What would be? But it, it, do you feel that um, you as citizens don't have any weight with the attorney general as? Let's say there's 30 citizens, 20 citizens, 15 citizens say, well, please look into this. It's a small state. Instead of having, we would carry more weight. I don't know. Would, as I said, 15, 15 individuals say, let's look at this. I mean, I've heard the controversy. I've read, I've read Digger. I've heard some of the blurb and some of the, even on um, LePage's show on, you know, Sunday morning, there was a bit of talk about it, um, I believe. So it, it's in the press. Mm -hmm. I would always, be surprised if there was not public pressure to look into this without having to correct. I mean, I, I'm with you. I mean, this yeah. uh, this is a great opportunity for for public for for housing. You want to say something? I agree. <clears throat> um, I'm just a little bit concerned the legalities of us getting involved. Yeah, I am too. Yeah. Um, and I, and, I, and the housing I, deal, I've heard a lot of. Rumbling about the housing, but, but I mean that's that, that, that's, that that's, that's that's irrelevant to the conversation. I understand the question. I mean, we could talk about this all night. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're not Good. That's what I'm trying to. <laughs> that's okay. It's it's, and I don't know what the precedent being fairly new on the select. We've board, never done that. We've never, never, not that I'm aware of. Not the no. 15 years I was not in the 
14 years of it, we haven't interfered with, well, especially because the building's not really East Mount Theory. I understand right. that asked some of the assets are, but we've never asked the Attorney General to look into the potential legality of the safe of a non profit. I guess it's a non profit. It is. Yeah. So, but I don't see why concerned citizens couldn't put a petition to the Attorney General. I mean, concerned citizens, yeah. graduates, staff. Exactly, exactly. That sounds like could have good. several organizations that, right. that, that, and I'm not sure what place was going to decide either. Yeah, I, I think I mean to to be to be honest, the the select board is is a, is a neutral board. We represent both sides, and by by addressing or requesting from the attorney general, are we not taking a side and saying we are trying to exactly? Yeah. That's, that's my yeah. argument. That's my argument. Yeah, and and there are there are people, even though there may be one, that think this is the proper. <clears throat> Um, execution that this is this this should go yeah. forward in, in this manner, and we are not and we are not necessarily representing a neutral position. Well, right. yeah, I mean, right. we, if we're saying we want to we want to sell investigated, we're not comfortable yeah. with it. There are people, there is someone out there or more yeah. that think this is the proper this right. is the proper sale. Yeah, and why are we taking a position? Well, you don't if you're looking just in the strict legality of it. You probably are not taking you are to some extent. But basically I don't feel comfortable at this point with writing a letter coming from each other. It's like as a private citizen, that'd be different. So that's my position. I mean, it sounds like that's your sort of question. So, sure. Uh, I was just gonna say that you asked if I thought it would have more weight. And I think it would have more weight. And I also think that uh, what we're, this request is, is asking the Attorney General to just look at the information that they have. And, and I don't see how there would be a legal downside to the town. Um, because you're not really taking the side. You're asking an object, objective question. If you look at this material, uh, I think that if they were to look at this, it would also might give some cover for whoever the private developer who we don't know who it is, uh, because they was then not have the onus of bearing any of the of uh, weight of, of faulty uh, decision making and illegalities on our board. Um, That's way beyond us. So. Yeah, way beyond. We we. I, I have a question for the select board. Um, if we if we vote on this motion, and we haven't made a motion. I said if we did. If well, we, we have if we vote on a motion, which we haven't made. Okay. Okay. And and it's a and it's a tie. <laughs> yeah. What happens? It just doesn't go forward. What's That's what's right. what's Robert's rules on that? What's that? But we haven't made a motion. Okay. But if someone made a motion, and a they got a second. Okay. I'll, I'll make a motion to. Um, contact the attorney general, um, and the letter would say to the effect of citizens raised a concern about legal the legality of this transfer or sale, um, and we are just representing the citizens. citizens. Okay, that's my motion. All right. I'd like to second it and see how. Okay. This hypothetical works out. Okay. Well, let's... Okay, you get a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say nay. Nay. Now you got a tie. <laughs> that was <laughs> and, and, uh So that means it doesn't go forward. Okay. Okay. Try again. Some. I mean, well, if we had the fifth member here, it would have been different. Obviously. Yes. <laughs> but they're not here. <laughs> and okay. it's legal to vote because we have a quorum. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. Okay. So that's why well, I asked the question. It's shelter the moment. <laughs> It is. All right. I would encourage, though, like I said, private citizens to yeah. form groups. And, right. Because I think that will have more weight, yeah. personally, than a, than a town that really there's no assets. I just can't see us getting no. anything. I don't know. But whatever. Well, thank okay. you for coming well, in. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. Take okay. care. Okay. Monthly financial report for March and April and town treasury report. Uh, 
Oh, that this huge thing? Yeah. Um, so we should read this all right now and memorize it. A lot of things. <laughs> okay. So, is it, and it's quickly approaching. Is it possible to get these, for instance, if we were going to get a, a sheet of this or this packet this week and then talk about the next meeting? I mean, it seems kind of silly to we're, we're not right. like, I'm not we can't read it and we didn't get it ahead of time online. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, we could do that. Oops, something because what's the point of? Well, so you're gonna take this pack at home and read it. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, then what's the point? What's the point of handing this out now? Yeah, I mean, if nobody's gonna read it, then don't hand it out. But if some of well, us, I can read parts of it here if you want. Uh, I mean, should I take it? Is there so, anything that's Right. Does that make any sense to anybody or am I well? No, well, let's just explore. Let's so I when I was on the board before, yeah, we always had it ahead of time. Yeah, yeah. At, at least a week ahead of time. Right. So we could review both through it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I just want to see if there's anything that's flagged for a problem. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you looked at it yep. closely? Oh yeah. Well, she wrote this up, right? There's a summary page there. Yeah, yeah. I've got it right yeah. there in the front. You're in as quickly as you have to prepare for. Can, uh, are we allowed to have a copy, or do you want them all? <laughs> well, I, I think there's just one copy here, right? Right. Oh, yeah. so please don't get so never, never, here. never mind. If you no, want to take my copy, so no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want all that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. So oh, I thought there was a bunch of wait. Copies. This is. So is there a warrant in here? So the warrants. This... I mean, I have a warrant, right? <laughs> so we've got this. We've got this. Okay, that's is that the warrant for everybody, or is that the warrant for the payroll? Oh, the red is the payroll warrant, and the green is for all of the invoices. This one here. Yep. Okay. All right. So this is just FYI, anyway, right? There's no, we're not voting anymore. So. We just have to look all this over, but some of it's not reconciliation report. Let me just sort through this for a second. Um, what is this interest in dividends? So this is part of the treasury report and statement of account. We've never looked through the statements. And this is general ledger. Lincoln tax report, available credit report. There's a lot of stuff that we haven't really actually looked at before. Uh, well, we do get the, the Lincoln tax report well, like once a year or twice a year or something. Well, we get it occasionally. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I guess uh, we we don't need to have copies of all this stuff. Okay. Just Wait, here, why don't I? Why don't I pass the stuff or, or find out from Michelle what's really relevant and just email it to us? Yeah, because we, we haven't done. had the investment report before. Um, this is the overall page you printed off that says where we're at the year end. It says town treasurer monthly financial report. And that's yeah. stuff that we've usually looked at before. I mean, I'm curious yeah. for this stuff to look at it ahead of Yeah, time. well, I might give it to you. And you can decide, well, because most of the stuff we you want, do you want to look at? Most of the stuff we haven't had right. to take before. Right. Okay. Here, this is this too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that monthly financial report for March and April. Yeah, I find out from Michelle what, I mean, we've never seen all this. Kind of thing. No. Okay. We've never seen statements from the bank. No, no. So, we don't, and we don't have to just. So previously, it was almost like that we got a copy of the budget that was in the town report. That's a, that's in there too. It is. Yeah, okay. that is in there. And then and it shows you the percentage of expenses yeah. well, yeah, that so far yeah. in the year. And actually, we're at close to the end of the year. Sure. We only have one more meeting before the end of the year. Right. Right. So you know, most of the lines should say we 20, spent twenty-seven days. Till the end. Yeah. All right. So. Okay, so this is one of these are warrants. Uh, right. 
I'll look at this one. It's signed here, I believe. Yeah, but Michelle and they're kind of what you what we normally get. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you don't know. So these are all here that we all have to sign. This folder here. Yeah. So this is the typical one that we get. Yeah, the checking accounts that we that we always get. All this stuff. All right. So this is the tip. I guess we pass this around now. These are the ones. Okay. Okay. What's the financial thing? So that's the other month we have March and April. Oh. So I believe that one the March. Okay. So this is this. This, this is, is another like that. Yeah. For a different month. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. March and April, are they different months? <laughs> uh, <Not always. laughs> Most of the time. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. We're gonna leave this. We're gonna leave this. Trying to organize my mind. Yeah. All right. Um. So, motion to authorize TA to sign Ash Tree contract, and we've got this right here. This is one you did sign. No. Right. Yes. Yeah, you've already signed. It. Yep. Yeah, and I there was a little bit of um. A time constraint on this, so I she called Jen called me and I said just sign it because the guy want to get going. Sure. So we'd already discussed the contract, right. so it's already been done. No, Jen, we just want to get a motion. Jen's great with something new. Yeah, so we're we're up to speed on. No, I appreciate that. Yeah. So it's a retroactive motion, basically. No objections. Do you want to make the motion? Sure, I'd like to make the motion. Have the chair. Sign the ash. No, not the chair. The TA. The TA to the sign the uh, ash for eradication. It's the second 2024 tree removal project. Thank you. Yeah, that's just what he said. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We have a second for that? Oh, All right. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 I appear to have and they do have. It. Okay. Got that out of the way. Um, Next thing is motion authorized TA to sign the Washington Sheriff contract. Oh, that was email and this is the actual one. Oh, this is the contract? Yeah. Okay. I raised raise my name, my mileage raise. Okay, so let's, I don't want to see what, what are the hours that they're supposed to be working? What are we paying for? Okay. $50 an hour, $50 So that's blank. Page two. Does everybody have a copy of contract? No. Or do, do they have a copy? No. No. Email. Okay. So it says um, keep the other one for record. Please make sure to fill in the contract amount in number 10 on page two, which I'm looking at here. That's the same sentence. And I'll pass it around. It says the primary breach of French deputy for so many hours per week. What did we do last year? It, it says there's no changes since last year to this. Yeah, but I don't know what we did last year for hours. Right, I have to look into that. There's a signature page on there? Yes, right here. I've got two blank contracts here. 5824. Yeah. So that's the question. How many hours did we contact for last year? In the 20? 20 hours per, per, per week? Money no. not, yeah, that's what I thought it was too. But the state police one was that too. So uh, maybe we just did the same. I thought it was the same, but, yeah. but we didn't get coverage where we weren't getting anything. We didn't get anything from state police. So, so that's why we quit. Right. Um, but I'm not unsure what we signed last year. But, but you're thinking it's 20 oh. per month because it said per week here. No, I thought it was 20 or 25. It doesn't hours. say anything out of blank. That's what we got right. going. That would be a lot, that's a lot more money. I can say, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is a lot more money. Our budget is, I can't remember the budget. We have it, we probably have it in, in paperwork here. Does anybody know what the budget was for the it, okay? So we probably should look at that. And it's, it should be in, so it's, we've in, been, in one of those. 
I mean, twenty dollars times fifty is a thousand dollars a month. We did not allocate four thousand dollars times times twelve. I mean, this alone is no. That's just fifty thousand right? bucks. Yes, yeah. it's more. This is. Just I think there was around twenty thousand a year, but I'm not. Right sure. now we're spending twelve if it's twenty dollars a month. Right, twenty times sixty is twelve hundred plus mileage. Twelve times twelve is fifteen thousand actually. Yeah, fourteen four. Well, otherwise, that'll be, we're not going to spend sixty thousand dollars. No, 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 no. So no. it had to be no, 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 no. twenty. It had to be twenty yeah. hours. But we have it in one of those um, budget pages right there. <laughs> now, I know it's in there. Okay. Because it'll no, say how much we've spent and what the budget right. amount is in in that. I was thinking it was either twenty or twenty five thousand. Per month. Per month. Yes. Per yeah. Month. Definitely. Yeah. Per month. yeah. yeah. That's what I think. Per month. Yeah. Yeah, so we have to cross that off. Because let's see, I'll show you guys the okay, here's that. This okay. This is it. Number 10. They want us to fill out. Number 10. Oh my god. And in the budget. Which is what Jen has right there. It's going to tell us yes, sir. Uh, I I would I would um I would make a motion to um to the same approve, approve 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 either twenty or twenty hours a month and and let you make the decision. Well, why don't we just say the same as last year? Sure. Sounds good. To and me. we'll figure. We'll know in a minute. Jen will find it. Sure. And we'll just fill it in. Okay. I mean, in case you can't find it, we'll show we'll give okay. Well, if you go through the whole budget in the there's a, line, there's a line item, there's a line, line, line item, right? Um, you made the motion to to um to allocate 20 hours a month at 50. No, don't say 20, say the same as last year, same as last year, yes, same, 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 same right, same, terms same, last, same terms as last year, okay, second, uh, perfect, <laughs> okay. Uh, um, any further discussion? We are at Zoe. She's not able to. The Microsoft take... Word just locked me out, and I can't even get to anything. So... Well, we can yeah. go by the recording because we recorded. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Is the recording good? Because remember, the mics aren't very good. Oh, no, the, it's really hard to hear sometimes. But the, I've heard that the mics <laughs> need to be replaced or else they need to be charged. Uh, or something. We authorized them to go buy new mics. Yes. Like two months ago. <laughs> all right. Or I'll talk louder. Okay. No more discussion. All the favor, please say aye. Thank you. And we'll find out the amount. Right. Okay. And Jen, if you can't find it, when you find it, you'll yeah, say fill it in. You. Exactly. Um, approved dog warrant. That is. Thank you. What's this? Oh, dog warrant. Okay. Now this is the one that we've tweaked many times that's been on the select board at Kyle's request. Um, but I think it's been tweaked enough. So we have some unlicensed dogs. Wow. I know there was some risk. Hey, I have a question. Ro I have a question for Rosie. Rosie, is this um this this long list? These are just we, we can assume that these dogs are still alive? Most of them are still alive. Um, I have actually carved probably 12 of them off that list with phone calls for the last week. Um, people just don't license their dog. They either forget or they don't feel that it's important enough to do. And the, ra the ram ramifications obviously are... Well, we, we don't enforce it. And, you know, we don't want to to take people's dogs away from them. But um, unfortunately, in the past several years, there's not been strong enforcement through animal control to encourage people to license their dogs. We have an animal control officer on the list. We do. Yeah, on the list. Okay. That does not speak well to our system. It does not. <laughs> Okay. Uh, are you, Do you have any suggestions, Rosie, for making this list shorter besides taking the dogs? It's actually shorter than it was last year. Um, wow. But 
I will probably have most of them cleaned up by the end of July. I okay. I just I just sit on the phone and make phone calls. Um, yeah. Thank you. And people apologize and come in and pay yeah. or they'll pay online. See, the danger is that some of these dogs don't get rabies shots. Right. right. So, that's danger. They bite somebody. Oh, they no, have a rabies it's, shot. It's not, no, it's not a laughing matter. Yeah. And guess what? A lot of these dogs bite. Many dogs bite because people are very so, permissive. No, no, no. The only way to enforce is if you don't have your dog license, we're going to take your dog away. Well, that's, gonna... that's what the law says to do. Yep. But yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not. I, no. <laughs> <laughs> we could perhaps, if the animal control officer and the constable are amenable, send out a letter in the end of July for those stragglers that still have not licensed that is maybe more strongly worded yeah. than what I do when I make phone calls. And, and then, yeah, so you can send a letter at the end of the phone call thing. Right. A lot of bigger towns that have police departments um, handed off to their police to go and follow up with, but we what, don't what is the, have that option. What's the cost of the license? Oh, well, at this point, if your dog is fixed, it is $11. And if their dog is not fixed, it's 17. All right. Quarter of a bag of dog food. And we keep well, $4. I'll make, sure, I'll make sure our fluffy gets registered. I mean, I'm not on here, but. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't own the dog, but there is a dog at my house. <laughs> okay. Your dog okay, is well, nice. That sounds like a good plan that you're going to make phone calls and then we'll follow up with maybe a stronger worded letter coming from our constable and our animal control officer. Is that your suggestion? It is. Okay. I think that's a good idea. Thanks, Rosa. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Um, so coming back to the warrant to impound on licensed dogs, we need to approve this. So we need a motion to approve it. I'll and the motion, we approve it as written. The warrant, okay. We need a second. I'll second it. All right. Is there further discussion? There is not. All those in favor, please say aye. All right. I have it. Okay. E9 I'd like to ask. I'd like to ask everyone to sign it, please, as well. Sign the. The dog yeah. warrant. Right. Sign this one? Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you, Thank you for your help on this delicate matter. Okay. Give you some kind of cookie then. Uh, Zoe, you can sign this? Sure. Okay. Um, the next item on our agenda is appoint the E911 coordinator. And that was, was the zoning administrator, right? But I think that maybe could you do a check? No, for the moment. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we probably need a motion. I'll make a motion to appoint our town administrator, Jen, to the nine as as the E nine one one coordinator. We have, we have a second. Is there further discussion? There does not appear to be. All the favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Um, okay, we've already done the warrant, correct? Everybody signed the warrant? Yep. Yes, we did. Um, let's skip the personnel matter towards put it towards the end. And we need to have a discussion. We're waiting for Zoe about the needles, diapers, trash at the mm -hmm. parking ride on Money Brook and Money Brook Road. There's not too much to say. It would be quick. Okay. Are we? Are we? The the woman or the team that was in? They're not coming in today. The woman that came in was from the fire department. From the fire department. Right. Yeah. She she's, she's not, not coming not back today. No. I did okay. email her. A, okay. An apology, and I was going to talk to them later, depending on what we think is a reasonable action. From what I heard on the recording, she said that there weren't many needles when she went there the other day. What wrote? Yeah. What I heard Rosie say about the contracted lawn service, they said there were, and their photos showed a lot. Yeah. Um, I just tried to find as much information for as many options as possible, and it, what it seems like is there's not really a localized knowledge hub from the state at all. It's kind of scattershot. I did learn 
that Central Vermont Consolidated Waste does have um, both emergency grants and another type of grant process that could save the town a lot of money if we applied for them for trash cleanup at oh. the park and ride, or it could be applied to getting uh, just you know just regular trash cleanup or installing some kind of medical hazard waste. Right, we had, we had talked about that, you know, yeah. the latter issue, and would that promote people coming and wanting to do their do their do? Well, they're, well, they're going to do it there. If without them, they're already doing it there. Yeah. Um, they might not use them, but if we wanted, to, if we get it, funding, that'd be great. There would be potentially funding from Central Vermont Consolidated Waste for, for those programs. Or we someone just have to make sure that somebody who's qualified would pick those up and dispose of them properly. They were right. suggesting getting volunteers from the town, which seems kind of crazy to me. That's that's not a good. Idea. I, I agree with you. I think it should that's be a good idea. idea. Um, that's apparently what Montpelier has. Um, to pick but, up meals. Yeah, so citizens. But I called actually. I talked to someone from Barry. From Barry's uh, fire force, and he he suggested trying to collaborate with the fire department. Um, but if the needles aren't actually that big of an issue, I mean, it's more trash probably. That's I think that's it's more trash from what I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> so we need the trash cleaned up. Thank you. So they need to address it by the volunteer. Montpelier. What I've heard is that Montpelier. Uh, addresses even their needle with problem with volunteers, oh, okay. but forces. you know, but their, their infrastructure is, you know, I mean, they've got a, they've got the, they've got the Tuesday trash, the, the trash tramps. That literally, there's five of them, and 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 Nancy and Nancy Schultz and Ann Ferguson have a whole team. I know most of the people that go through the town picking up butts and garbage on the side. So that there's all different types. It's all different, right? Types. They they no, would probably pick up the needles. They would pick up the. I'm sure they pick up needles too. But you don't like that idea. There. Well, I mean, I, if somebody wanted I mean, a volunteer to if do somebody it, somebody wanted a volunteer to do it, fine. But they should make sure that they've got well, obviously proper right. gloves right. and well, stuff obviously. to do it. Right. Well, you would anyway, even if it wasn't needles. You want to have fun. you you would hope. But well, yeah. And it, it was a couple of weeks since I was reading the most about it, but from what I understand, I think that's like there's a round of grants coming up in the fall that could be potentially. Would you, um, would you would be able help. to keep that on your radar? So would you? If this, if everyone else was interested in like, um. So what would you do? Get a grant to pay people to go pick up trash? Or, or no, 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 or like, or even just to cover the cost of Casella coming to. Or trash to sell us the trash service to clean up to clean up the parking lot. The seller goes around picking up trash. Or, Piece of trash. Yeah. I never seen that. No. There must be there's there's somebody you could pay. Jennifer got a quote. She sent it to us in an email. Oh, that was gonna be for a trash bin. Right. Yeah, that's oh, a different okay. deal. That's a dumpster. Got it. That's like I have on my farm. No, we don't want to do Everybody that. and their brother comes to put trash in my dumpster. We talked about that last night. And they're gonna do it overflowing. Right. Yeah. Right. That's not, right. Right. And that's not an option. That's right. inviting right. disaster. If we if you could if, if there was a lawn instead of a lawn service, is there no right. lawn right. service? I don't know anyone want to pick up garbage. I don't know of anybody. But maybe you do. That's why places like Montpelier have gone to volunteer. Got it. Right. Because no one goes around and says, I, I need $20 an hour and I'm going to go around and pick up cigarette pots and needles. Right. I don't know anybody does it. So I guess I guess that's all I found is yeah. no one has an answer. The yeah. state doesn't have an answer. Yeah. Solid waste doesn't have an answer. Their right. best, they said the best thing that we could do if we wanted to do anything for the needles was to get one of these disposal bo boxes, which, which they're not going to, would be a pain in. Well, and, somebody that's using the needles is not going to go over and put the needle in the box. They're just going to throw it out the window. I guarantee you. They're not going to say, oh, I just shh, use a needle. I'm going to go over to the box and put it in. No. I don't Why see that happening. So popular? 
What's that? So why are the boxes so popular? They're well, it's doing place. something. They feel well, doing nothing. So well, somebody isn't a volunteer. They're, 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 well, they're also popular in places where somebody's giving themselves an insulin shot. And, oh, that could be. But, but I mean, that's why you have them in in yeah. certain bathrooms right. and stuff because it's it's legitimate. Yeah, some people have to inject themselves. On and also, clothes. whoever's picking up the needles, which is not the user, are going to put the needles right. in the box. And that might be better than just having True. random tra Like, I used to work in garbage, and it's really terrible when there's random garbage and then yeah. needles and other yeah. hazardous yeah. medical waste within that. So it might be a service. If okay. we end up, whoever we find, if, if we decide to get the trash cleaned up, uh -huh. it would be a service to them and their health yes. to yeah. have a safe way of disposing what seems like will accrue there, right. whether and that's there a is a safe disposal or not. And that's a you know, believe the, the matter here, but she did say two weeks ago that she'd been going on a regular basis and, and when you had first seen right. the noodles, the needles, there wasn't a lot anymore. No, yeah. I don't know she also that. said that there were like right. sanitary issues. There was a lot, there women, was a lot of trash. Like, well, you know, trash is not trash is not. Is like, Medical waste is supposed to be separate from other waste. Uh, yeah. Um, well, okay. Kind of is. So if you if you want to keep an eye out for the grants, we could write up a grant if we want to pay get the box. Right. Right, which doesn't sound like a bad idea. I mean, at least somebody could put it in the box. But then you also could have some money available if you say, "Hey, you want to go pick up trash on the parking ride once a month, and we can pay you." Might be a lawn service, right? To do it, right? So no, but I mean, we could get the money to cover that. Is that, is that correct? I think so. I have to check with them. I could. Okay, why don't you check? Yeah. Them. Okay. So at least that uh, we may be able to do something about the issue because it's kind of hard to say do nothing about it. Right. Right. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure if we put a disposal box in there, the fire department could take care. Of it. Right. They might. Oh, so it's disposing. Or we, yeah. I mean, I think it's an effort in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you'll look out, keep an eye for the grant. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I'll see what it covers specifically. And also when the application is due. Yeah. Some of them are rolling and then there's another one. That okay. Is. So you can report at the next meeting that we come to or so, Yeah. Okay. That sounds great. When 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 you come across the ad when or somewhere you need us or need our help with. Yes. So she can fun. she can be the eyes. Gotcha. Administrative report. What do we have? So, you know, Hudson House, we have asbestos testing July 3rd um, for potential fire testing on the house. So, that's scheduled. Um, FEMA projects are moving forward. We have a reimbursement for about 23K on one. Um, Sparrow Farm Road. Uh, we posted a front porch forum on the road closure there, and it should be completed um, this month, or May, sorry. Um, and then the Horn of the Moon is the next one we're working on, and that should be completed in June. Sander Circle, DeWolf is preparing documents in the permit application um, so we can have the RFP, so we can put it out to bid. Um, Green Up Day was a success. Uh, we also have the reimbursement for $400 processing for the Casella charge for the waste. Um, we're also recruiting for a coordinator. Um, one person responded. We posted that on Front Porch Forum as well. The auction went through for the printer, and we're getting $560 for that. Town Hill Paving Project, there's an RFP in process. Pike Industries is putting that together with specs so we could put it out to bid. The ash trees, that's in process, um, probably estimating July end. Uh, the town garage, WLA is doing an estimate and the 3D rendering, and Andy's working on the energy modeling. Um, and then we have the, the fire department meeting slated for June 17th. Yeah. Thanks. And so our meeting is going to be over there. Okay. Yeah. And looking at the dates, you um, do us a favor and make sure you put a, a nice size sign on the front door like half an hour before in case somebody wants to come, thinks it's here, but it's really across the street. Oh, and 
So both meetings are going to be, we're going to have a fire department meeting and then our normal. No, no, meeting. it's it's part of our normal meeting. It's a meeting to discuss the language between right. Dallas, ourselves, and the fire department. We're going to start that at 6 30, and as soon as our, that gets done, then we're going to go to the regular meetings. Oh, okay. the regular board meeting. Yeah. They'll all be there. Um, so you took off the posting um, thing you had on the original warning they sent around? I thought that was on there. Because I did ask about that. Oh, so that was the previous week. So uh, I did post it over. Oh, at Dudley's? Yeah, at Dudley's. Yeah, I, I asked about, about the names. <laughs> Dudley's, yeah. Yeah, CP Dudley's. Okay. They were fine with it. So I asked them that. Okay. Sounds good. Any questions with the town administrator before we go into the personnel time? Last session? Sounds good. Okay, so now we need a motion. Motion to go into an executive session. To discuss the personnel matter. To discuss the personnel matter. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, now we need to stop recording. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's 742. All right. Motion to adjourn. So I need to second. All of the so move. All of the bit. Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Okay.